Hey guys, I'm Katie or KB Does Art and today we're going to be making um, a cooking pot with a little lid. So um, go ahead and open up a new scene um, and then I'm going to go ahead and start with a simple little cylinder. Um, I'm going to try and work without reference since I usually work with reference and I'm trying to challenge myself a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and scale that guy up. I think I'm just going to go ahead and um, change the radius to like four and then change the height to maybe like five. I'm going to go one more up. Okay, that's good. All right, so we've got um, the beginning of a pot. <laughs> Next thing we need to do is um, first probably just hollow it out. That That's probably the easiest thing um, to do. So delete these top faces and then we're gonna extrude it in object mode and then change your thickness. Probably like 0.4 should work. Maybe 0.5. Might be safer at 0.5. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Yeah, it looks good. Next thing um, we're going to do is go ahead and add some handles. And in order to do that, we're gonna need a lot more multi-cuts. So grab your multi-cut tool and then hold control and let's add a lot of middle clicks um, to just get those halfway points. Okay, there we go. Select two faces. And then um, go ahead and extrude, so Command E. And then I want to offset them in until about 0.15. And then click each individual face and scale them in. Scale them in on the center. So they're pretty small. That should be good. All right, and then you can select both of those guys, do edit mesh bridge option box and do smooth path plus curve. I usually do 10 divisions, um, so it should turn out to look like that. And then um, when you press three, it'll, it'll look like that. Next thing I wanna do is select these um, three rings. I selected those by just um, selecting one and then holding shift and double clicking the next one. Extrude those guys and then up the thickness to like one, point one. And then let's press three. There we go, now they have cute little handles on them. Um, also what you can do is go into wireframe mode and then go into object mode right click on that curve, do control vertex, and then we can edit um, these guys, these little dots, to um, better fit our um, mesh a little bit. So you can move them, um, you can hold shift and select two of them, and then you can adjust them as needed. Um, I don't think I need any crazy curve on mine, so I'm just going to leave them. Um, but we do need to make one on the opposing side. So let's go ahead and do the exact same thing. I'm going to attempt to find the same faces on that side. And then let's see. Should be this guy and this guy. Yep, okay. So remember we extruded it and then we offset it in to like 0.15 and then we clicked each individual face and then scaled them in. So probably about there. And then you can select both of those guys, do edit mesh, bridge, go into face mode, select um, these rings so that all of those guys are selected. And then do extrude up your thickness to one, 0.1. All right, and then when you press three, um, it should all smooth out. 
All right, let's go ahead and bevel these edges. So go into edge mode and just select all of those guys and then control B, do a fraction, uh, pretty small, and then two segments. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that looks good. I'm just gonna leave it like that. All right, and then I also want to bevel those guys. So just hold shift and double click each of those. And then bevel, two segments. A 0.5 fraction might be good. I'm gonna make mine just a bit smaller. I kind of like how like 0.2 looks, so I would keep that. Um, okay, and then if you wanted to, you could bevel these edges um, surrounding um, that handle. Might be a good idea. I'll go ahead and do that. And then let's see how that's gonna look. And then let's press three, see how it looks. Let's do like a 0.1 or like a 0.15. Yeah, I like how that looks. Oh, it's so cute. All right, so that's the pot. Um, oh, bevel the inside as well. I always forget that part. Small fraction, definitely for the inside. Okay, so we've got the pot. So now all we need to do is just make a lid. So um, remember we made the radius four. So when you make another um, cylinder, change the radius to be four as well for that guy. All right, you can probably make the height like one for this, honestly. We're gonna end up making it pretty, um, pretty different. I'm gonna go ahead and make the radius 4.5 since it's supposed to cover it a bit. All right, and then um, this is a bit harder. So let's select these top bases, extrude, offset it in, and then let's offset in like 0.8. Click W, click R, and scale in till probably about there. And then I'm going to add a sphere in and then just bring the sphere up pretty small. Make it a bit more oblong instead of tall like that. And then press it just so it's barely going into the top like that. So that'll be the beginning of our lid. Let's go ahead and select these bottom faces. Make sure you don't have anything else selected. Extrude that and then let's offset in probably about 0.5. And then extrude again, click R, and then we're just gonna scale it in till it's pretty small. And then press W, we're gonna press it up. You don't want it to peek out of the mesh, but just far enough up so it looks like that. All right, and then we're going to actually take this edge loop and scale it up so it's a bit thinner. And then let's take these two rows of vertices and move them down like that. And then um, really all we need to do is just bevel these edges to both of those guys and the top guy, and do two segments. Pretty small fraction, not too small. Um, okay, so that looks pretty good. I think um, you're gonna want to bevel this top edge as well, so don't forget that guy. There we go. That way it smooths out a bit better. And then you can push this guy down 
to merge with that lid. All right, really quickly, I'm going to grab um, these faces. So just select one and then hold shift and double click the next and then extrude that guy and then up the thickness to like 0.2. There we go. All right, and then press three on both of these objects. Select both of them and then do mesh combine so that they're one. And then we can go ahead and just push it on top of our pot. All right, so that basically concludes um, this tutorial. That was a super easy little pot for you to make. Um, pretty easy. I think you guys should have a lot of fun with it. Um, this was one of the first models I've done without a reference, so I hope um, you guys like it. Um, let me know if there's anything I could have changed, and I'll see you guys next time for whatever we're making. Bye, guys! Thank you.